It's 2018 and the James Webb Space Telescope was supposed to have launched this year, but it's been pushed back three whole years until 2021. And yes, I'm already making a video about the successor to the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short. But why not? The telescope would have been called Louvoir, short for Large UV Optical Infrared Surveyor. The other proposed name for the telescope would be Atlast, because NASA loves using acronyms for the names of their latest spacecraft so much. That stands for Advanced Technology Large Aperture Space Telescope. I kind of like this name better. This is an active space telescope project currently in the design stage to be the successor for the James Webb Space Telescope. Why plan a successor for James Webb already? Well, large scale projects like this take an awful long time. JWST has been under proposal, planning, and building, and testing for over 20 years now. It started as a concept in the mid-1990s, shortly after Hubble had launched, and originally it was supposed to be launched in 2007. Now whichever you want to call it, the Atlas or Louvoir project will dive deeper into astronomy far better and more precise than Hubble and James Webb, being able to peer into 100 parsec wide star forming regions anywhere in our observable universe. Not to mention, it will be able to see, understand and characterize the habitability, atmosphere, composition, surface features and planet rotation rate far better than James Webb and be able to see this data on exoplanets from over 140 light years away. Here are some of the basics of how Atlast or Louvoir compares to JWST. The main mirror of JWST is comprised of 18 hexagonal mirror segments. The total mirror size is six and a half meters, that's 21 feet four inches in diameter. There are mid and near infrared cameras and spectrographs. It's also the successor to the Hubble and Spitzer telescope. James Webb is non-serviceable, which is its biggest downside. It's designed to last five years in space to gather data with a goal of 10 year lifespan. Atlast, on the other hand, is comprised of 36 hexagonal JWST size mirrors for a total mirror size of up to 12 meters or 39 feet in diameter. Now that's pretty big. There are also mid and near infrared cameras and spectrographs. Furthermore, highly advanced enough to resolve 100 parsec star forming regions anywhere in the observable universe, Atlast would be serviceable unlike JWST potentially exceeding 20 years of service. The Atlas or Louvoir telescope is still in its design and planning stage. So far, NASA has a few design concepts, and here are some of those pictures on screen now. It is so far said that it'll launch on a Falcon 9 rocket sometime in 2035, but we all know that's a laughable timeline because we still need to look at the building and testing delays. Not to mention budget cuts to factor in as well. After all, the James Webb Space Telescope has seen its fair share of delays. As mentioned earlier, it was planned in the 1990s and originally set for launch in 2007. So yeah. What do you think about Atlast or Louvoir? Interesting concept or reality? And should NASA have just skipped JWST and gone straight for the bigger, better Atlas telescope? Share your thoughts down below. I'm curious to see. Consider sharing this video and leaving a like if you enjoyed. Hit the good old subscribe button and bell icon too. Thanks for watching and stay curious.